Joining us in studio next, it's Ruby's Leslie Rankin and Mark Walk. The band Ruby appears tonight at Dragonfly in Hollywood for a sold-out performance. We'll be hearing a, a rare acoustic appearance coming up momentarily. First off, one from the album Salt Peter. It's Ruby next as KCRW's Morning Becomes Eclectic. The band is called Ruby, the album Salt Peter, and that's Pine from the album on Work Records. I'm Chris Doritas, Morning Becomes Eclectic on KCRW. Ruby, the band, appears tonight at Dragonfly in Hollywood for a sold-out show. The uh, evening will be opened by a band called Stum, and they'll be... Uh, Back as a double bell at the Whiskey A Go Go for a show Tuesday, March 26th. And tickets don't go on sale for that show until this Sunday at 10 a.m. So if you missed out on Dragonfly tonight, you still have a chance to check them out at the Whiskey A Go Go when they return to Los Angeles in late March. Tickets go on sale Sunday, March 3rd. Very happy to have in the studio Leslie Rankin of Ruby. It's good to have you here at KCRW. Thank you all. <laughs> good to see you and, um, and, and very excited about what we've set up this morning for our listeners because... You know, we had we'd been pa- counting on you coming in for a number of weeks now, and then I get a call out of the blue from from your 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 friend and and producer Mark Walk, and Mark agreed to come down too, and the two of you. Um, he's uh, actually he's a producer. He's not my friend. Yeah, right. Okay, oh. I just like to point that out. <laughs> we really don't like each other. Um, so uh, w- we're we're left with one microphone in the studio there. So Mark, I'm going to have to ask you to lean into the into the microphone. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when 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 it's appropriate and you have something you want to add to this, um, uh, feel free to to lean in and and say hello to everybody. Um, it, it's it's a fascinating uh, course of 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 history that you've <laughs> that you've come through, Leslie. Uh, a lot of people know you for your work with Silverfish from from a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but at some point during the making of the music with Silverfish, you you felt a little confined and and wanted to break out of that. Yeah, well, uh, it was just um, I think it was a gradual thing. After having done that for five years, it was time to move on, do something different, you know. Mm. And that was sort of a a democratic thing where everybody in the band would contribute, right? And it would yeah. be sort of y- your own. Yeah, it's really crap. That's that democracy in bands. <laughs> yeah. Only fascism works in music, I'm afraid. Well, it depends on who the people are. Yeah, yeah, know, exactly. In the band, I guess. <laughs> but um, uh, obviously, you had some some things that you wanted to get out that you weren't able to mm. fully flesh out as silverfish. Yeah, like melody, for example. <laughs> 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 there was not a lot of room for that, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so <laughs> so you, um, in, in your own time then, you were taking songs that you had written, and uh, I guess during the making of the Ruby album, you hooked up with Mark again, a, an old friend of yours. It was actually before the making of the Ruby album, because we made it together and wrote this stuff together and... and all that kind of thing. Mm. Well, we didn't really um, become we didn't really become friends until we made the record. Yeah, we'd, we'd well, met until after we made. Well, it. <laughs> after and and now we hate each other again. But right. we we'd only met about a couple of times before, like spent five minutes with each other. But I think we just kind of recognized that we both had the same sort of philosophy about making music and stuff. I see. So to to kind of cap encapsulate the story. While you were on tour with Silverfish, I guess you had met Mark at at a gig at some point. Oh no, it was it was just when I was in on, in Chicago on a holiday. Hmm. Yeah, and then we worked on a a, a pig face record together. Pig face record kind of thing. <coughs> <coughs> I like the way you say pig face though. Pig face. What part of uh, Scotland are you from, Leslie? Uh, just a wee town near Edinburgh, just the, the sort of Edinburgh <coughs> east coast side. Ah, the metro area of Edinburgh, I guess. The metro. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that in Chicago? Well, the the metropolitan area. Yeah. 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 And and Mark, are you from Chicago? Uh, no, I'm from Wisconsin. Ah. But I live in Seattle now. And you live in Seattle now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm you a guys. Farmer. You're a farmer. Yeah, I'm yeah. a farmer. What part of Wisconsin? Central. Central right, Wisconsin. Right in the center. Yeah. Okay. So you guys came together and you you uh, fleshed out the songs that would become the Ruby album. Um, mm-hmm. But. There is a band called Ruby, right? So you've put together a band. Yeah, our, our touring band that consists of uh, Chris Taplin on bass and guitar, Gavin Fawcett on drums, and Sharon Doherty on keyboards, guitar, and back and vocals. Okay, but Ruby itself is really... Mm, me and Mark. It's you and Mark, yeah. Yeah, we're in the studio. Yeah. Mark's far too smart to come out and tour. Kind <laughs> of thing, you know. 
Um, and what what made you settle on the name Ruby? It's a both her grandmothers are called Ruby. Really? Yeah, and yeah. Her, both her mothers are called Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> and both her dogs are called Smithy. <laughs> now you're kidding me. Yeah. Um, we we've got Leslie Rankin in the studio with uh, Mark Walk, both of the project called Ruby. The album is Saltpeter, and what we're hearing in the studio <coughs> here is is really an experiment, isn't it? This is um. Well, this is the actually the second time we've 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 met each other. <laughs> well, this is the second time we've, we've played together. We've played together because when we did the record, <coughs> uh, we didn't do, um, we never did two things at once. The record was done one thing at a time. Mm. So we realized yesterday that that was the first time that we'd actually played together. Mm. So. so, wow. Um, so I guess nobody's really heard this stuff acoustic before. Not, not even us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had well about 15 minutes before we went on here. Well, let's check it out. It's uh, Leslie Rankin and Mark Walk of the Project Ruby in performance on KCRW. Parfum. There's four of them in a bar. <laughs> Here we go. Leslie Rankin and Mark Walk live on KCRW. Both are of the project called Ruby from the album Salt Peter. Leslie Rankin on vocals and Mark Walk on guitar. The band Ruby, the touring uh, version of Ruby, is appearing tonight at Dragonfly in Hollywood, a sold out show. And if you can't get in tonight, well, don't worry. They'll be back uh, in Los Angeles March 26th, the Tuesday night at the Whiskey A Go Go. Both shows are open by Stum and. Uh, the, uh, the the Thursday March 26th uh, Tuesday March 26th show tickets go on sale 
this Sunday, March 3rd at 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster. That's a, a Whiskey A Go Go show in late March. The lyrics, I'm guessing, are, are largely your creation, mm-hmm. Leslie, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And is the music sort of a collaborative thing? <coughs> oh, well, actually, Mark plays most things because I'm really crap at it. Mm. So you, <laughs> you, you <laughs> and uh, I just gonna <laughs> do some little farty samply things occasionally and and and, and hit guitars. But the cool bangs. Yeah. So you sort of. Ba- I got the cool bangs, <laughs> man. <laughs> you you sort of bang things out on on keyboard sometimes or, or guitar, Leslie, but you don't really play an instrument as such. Nah, I've never really been in- interested. I think I got forced to play lots of instruments when I was a kid, and I now refuse to learn to play anything. Mm. But Mark is the sort of the sort of. Um, Player of all, Ma- master of the studio and technology. And and yeah. Now, um, you say as a child you played some instruments. <coughs> what, what did you play? Bagpipes, right? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. No, like uh, trumpet and piano and and stuff like that. I can't remember trumpet. that. Trumpet. Yeah. Oh. Didn't I tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm going to get roped into doing this. That's right. The next, the next album. Ru- Ruby album already is going to be called That's right. Um, we're getting a microphone set up here for, for Mark. I, sus- I suspect this is so we can hear you talk rather than hear you sing. Is that right? Are you? Uh, Are you going to sing on this next well, one? Well, there's something about the vocals on the album that I'm, I was here to tell you. that That's really me singing. <laughs> <laughs> I just used a clothespin to get those notes. Yep. So th- <coughs> does, does Mark Applied sing in the all? appropriate area. <laughs> Would you say? Would you call Mark a singer, Leslie? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we'll see. It's nice that you have your own uh, your own strengths that uh, complement each other so well. So um, I tell you what. Why don't uh, if it's okay with you guys, we're going to head into one from the album. Give you guys a rest on this and get set for the next one. How's that? Okie dokie. We're going to head into one from the album. This is uh, this is called Bud. I love the way this thing twists and turns. Uh, we're going to head into this one. It's from the album Salt Peter. Anything you want to say about Bud? Yeah, it's really groovy. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. This is a, this is a song for, for strippers. For strippers? No, no, no. Really. It's, um, no, actually, I'm lying. It's a, a wee sexy, jazzy song. Ruby on KCRW. 